What is up YouTube, Coach Colton here to bring you Physique Development Tools. Wow, it has been a long time since I've had that intro. Today we're going to talk about the five things I wish I knew before starting my bodybuilding career. These aren't necessarily mainstream ideas, so make sure you stay until the end. If you guys are new here, again, I am Coach Colton. I have cerebral palsy. I'm a professional natural bodybuilder as well as a bodybuilder trying to pursue his IFBB Pro card within the NPC division in classic physique. These are my most recent check-in updates because for some reason to validate anything you say, you have to look a certain way for people on the internet. But with that being said, let's get straight into the business. The first thing I wish I knew is that the time required to do this is insane. Now I'm saying this as an entrepreneur, I run and operate my own business that is reaching close to a six-figure monthly business it is a lot of time required to do the things I do but when you throw bodybuilding on top of it it is outrageous 60% of my day is bodybuilding that includes things like eating training drugs like injections and taking oral compounds throughout different points of the day sleeping you have to sleep eight hours a night and maybe even throw in some naps on top of there drinking water as weird as that sounds when you drink about about two gallons of water a day can consume a lot of your time. Cooking, grocery shopping, which I just hired someone to do for me now, by the way, so that should free up some time. But even just preparing the food, like putting it in the microwave and eating seven times a day, going for walks, doing your cardio, doing your ab training, doing all the little methodical practices that we do on a daily basis. That shit takes a ton of time, leaving very little for other things left over. This could be seen as good or bad, but I usually see it as good. I'm more of the monk mindset where one should completely give themselves to a discipline in order to achieve the best results both through that discipline but also through themselves. Two is social dynamics completely change. Now this doesn't necessarily happen at the jump of your career but when you're pretty deep into it you're a heavier guy 250 260 pounds it gets a little weird it can be hard to fit into social dynamics bringing up your diet and training to people who really don't understand the lifestyle can be certainly weird and they just view you as a weirdo in general bodybuilding isn't a popular thing like it used to be it's sort of niche now most people aren't passionate about getting huge it also extremely limits your dating pool because your opportunity to do things with with significant others is kind of diminished. You're not able to go to bars and stay out late. You're not able to do the things that other people do regularly. But most importantly, the people who you're looking at as a part of the dating pool don't necessarily agree with the things you're doing. Maybe it's because of the drugs, maybe it's because of the eating, maybe it's because of some other component of the thing, but they just don't understand it. And so you're seen as sort of this like ostracized character who no one wants to mess around with besides the people in the gym. This is, can be, again, a good or a bad thing because you're associating yourself with people who also want to be successful within the frame of work that you want to be successful in. Positive in my mind, because then you cultivate a community that's super strong, passionate, and powerful, and this, the birds of the same feather their flock together as opposed to inviting people into your life who don't understand your goals aspirations and how successful you want to be within a particular endeavor it could be a bad thing because it limits your social interaction it limits your ability to engage within meaningful relationships but i believe you could also create those in the gym my two cents. Drugs are complicated, right? Like it's not just take this drug and get this result. It is in fact, take this drug, get an intended effect, but there's also off targeted effects that can most importantly for me, mess up your brain. It can change your partner preferences. It can change your friendships and, and personal traits that you had since you were 18. For better or for worse, sometimes for me, I got extremely productive, but I also isolated a lot. I became very antisocial. I listened to much darker music. I, I changed how I build friendships. It, it's much different now. I almost became socially more awkward, but productively more efficient. And so in business, I'm great, but as a partner or friend, I'm not the best person. This happened over a longer time scale. And honestly, the further you go down this path and use compounds, the further that those changes start to progress. It's almost like a cancer metastasizing and you can see it happening in real time. Again, it's good or bad. It's hard to say. It can be good for some people. It can be bad for others. There's many bodybuilders who are multimillionaires or even billionaires out there. There's others who are homeless. So it just is up to you and how you perceive where your personality is changing, but it's something you should be aware about. And it's something I wish I would have known when I started. And of course I knew about the neurological effects of compounds, but 
I didn't understand the slow moving needle of the deleterious effects to personality traits being changed. Number four, the deeper you go. The longer and harder I bodybuild, the more I look at myself six months before or a year before as a dumbass. You truly learn so much about everything you do in bodybuilding, whether it's just a simple tweak on a movement, like changing something so minute that you get a greater effect out of that movement to an astronomical degree, whether that's changes to your diet, foods you've never tried before, whether that's changes to how you do cardio or, or lose fat. Like you learn so much and progressively just become so much more intelligent with your own body as well as other people's bodies that literally after a year of time, you're like, wow, I was a dumbass a year ago. And then another year later, I was a dumbass a year before. And then it just keeps progressing. It's like you never stop learning in this sport. And it seems simple enough. Pick up weights, use some drugs, eat a lot of food, get to where you want to get to. But there is so much more complexity to that. And especially, especially when you're looking at the minutia, there's way more to consider than just what drugs, what food, and what training. You learn so much and it's just all driven by your self-experimentation. Don't take your opinion or anyone else's as gospel, as it will likely not matter within just a short amount of time. This is also true for stepping out of the profession, just like any other profession. This isn't bodybuilding related. The longer you are in it and the deeper you go, the harder it is to remove yourself from it. I don't say this regrettably. I, I've had a ton of success and my business has been built around bodybuilding, but I say this as a warning for people who don't know if they want to take that leap. Because truly speaking, the longer and deeper you go, the harder it's going to be to associate yourself as a non-bodybuilder. Five, details matter. The small things seriously add up over time and a longer time horizon is how you need to look at bodybuilding. If one simple action accumulates me one gram of muscle a day, at the end of the year, I will have put on some really, really solid tissues just from that one small action. There's a lot of influencers out there who say that you can live freely and do what you want and being bodybuilding doesn't have to be so strict and to be fit, you don't have to do a whole lot. That's fine and dandy and all, but like I'm talking about real bodybuilding, like guys who want to stand on stage and beat everyone around them. The details extremely, extremely matter. The reality is the more strict and discipline you are, the less margin of error for losing a potential gram or two of muscle is. And in an instance like this, let's just say we're taking a post-workout meal, for example. We inject a little bit of insulin, we have our post-workout meal, but maybe there's, uh, we, we do that seven days a week for an entire year, let's just hypothetically say. And that insulin and post-workout meal gains you about two grams of muscle per day. Seven days a week, that's 14 grams of muscle weekly, that's 56 grams of muscle per month, and that is 672 grams yearly of muscle, or 1.5 pounds of muscle. So that small little avid habit could achieve you 1.5 pounds of muscle at the end of the year. But then there's the other guy who says, ah, like I, I wanna go out to eat or I wanna go with my friends or I can't time all this perfectly because I have to do X, Y, or Z, so I'm just not gonna worry about it. Well, they're left using the same drugs, but with a much significantly diminished result. I mean, a pound and a half of muscle doesn't sound like a lot, but when you see that on someone's physique, that is massive. And that can relate to anything, sleeping in the extra half an hour, getting an intro workout shake in, having a well-comprised meal as opposed to one you just kind of threw together to fit your macros. Like it all matters in such great detail and understanding the effect of adding one gram of tissue per day because of one simple habit and the outcome of that in a long, time horizon is extremely important. And as a bonus, have fun. While I agree having a strict lifestyle, adhering to the highest standard of strictness and being rigid is essential to developing the most potential as a human being in general, and just it's a good practice for any human to follow, right? Like be strict, be monk-like, be disciplined, be attached to an obsession of yours. I think not many people do that and too many people are comfortable. Besides the point for a different video, I still think you can have an absolute blast with doing this. I have learned so much and when I was early, early days in my career and I was rigid, I didn't allow myself to have any fun and it's still to a degree kind of like that but I still do a ton of things that I have fun with. I do bodybuilder friendly things. I go to different gyms every once in a while. I get together with a bunch of buddies and train in the gym. We record content, we shoot videos, we take pictures. We all get together to go out and have a meal. We do things that are fun together and it creates a dynamic and situation where you're looking forward to the silliest things and it just is like the coolest and wildest experience, you can still have fun as a bodybuilder. There is not an opportunity that I haven't taken because I'm a bodybuilder. As someone hasn't said, hey, let's go out to eat while well, I've been on prep and I didn't say yes. I've always said yes, I've just brought my own food. You can be extremely rigid, you can still hit your deadlines, you can still hit your timelines and have a bunch of fun. 
You just, again, have to have people around you who understand and support your goals, which is hard to do. Yes, depending on how bad you want this, you kind of have to accept that. Anyways, that's my three or four cents or so on the five things I wish I knew before I started bodybuilding. I think it's really important to internalize these and think about them for yourself if you are starting out bodybuilding or maybe if you already have been bodybuilding for several years, you see this as kind of an, a chance to reflect and be like, wow, I have spent so much time doing this, but maybe not enough time doing other things that I would have wished I could have. So to use this as a tool, maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't. Comment down below what you think. What are some things you would have liked to learn before you started bodybuilding? What are some things you'd like to learn now before you do start your bodybuilding career? If you wanna know more, by all means, reach out down below, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we will see you next time. Deuces.